guys, so um, this episode is, I think like episode 10 on building timber, or 11, or 12, I don't know, it's been a while. <laughs> Anyways, so um, in this episode there'll be clips of me installing my new uh, electric heater. So I uh, ended up buying it from Amazon, I got it from the returns, it had like some things that were broken on it and we fixed it. So I got it like $20 off. I think this version I had, it's, um, it was like 120 I think. So I got it for like 98 or something. But this is it right here. You guys can see it. And actually right now I just reparked at a new place and I have no hookup right now. I have to buy an adapter from Amazon. Amazon's great. Um, so yeah. Um, so I can't turn it on for you. It's just, uh. So essentially it has like fake wood in it and it has fire, you know, fake fire. It's great. It was great over the winter. So, um, yeah, I used this whole thing during the winter and it did great. Um, I'll try putting the link down below so you guys can like know what version I got. Um, the reason I picked this was because of the price. It was a, like, it was a good price, like not too cheaply made, but like expensive enough that I feel like it would be durable. And also the size because it's fit like what I needed. So you guys can like check that out and see like if it gives you tips and tricks if you're like checking out how to heat your place so have fun guys so last weekend I think it was maybe it wasn't maybe it was the weekend before well anyway we got the old furnace out so um I think I need to vacuum it up because I got the shop vac right here <laughs> it's like uh almost 50 years worth of soot dirt and stuff right there like I could write my name in there if I want to like, look at that. It's just like, ugh. Oh, it's pretty, pretty scary stuff. But it's pretty encouraging because there's, there's no mouse doo-doo. So, I mean, that's nice that no mice hang out in here. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to need to vacuum up all in there. Uh, and that's the wheel whale right there that you're seeing. That This guy right here, I got all the old, nasty old, uh, like, insulation type stuff, that white, that yellow stuff right there. Well, I got, I got most of it off anyway. Uh, so I need to re-insulate that whole thing. So that's probably something I'll be working on this weekend. And I'm also insulating the hot water line. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hot water lines right here. A cold one and a hot one. And yeah, you can't see it, but there's one up there that I have insulated. It's got uh, zip ties on it and the insulation. But, yeah, I need to do that for the rest of the pipes, too. Yeah, this goes up to the, the sink right there. The sink's right there. So that's where that goes. And then that's my water heater that I still need to replace or find a new one or something. Yeah, so that's, that's all that's under here. Yeah, so I found a nice little fireplace on Amazon that will fit there perfectly. I'll have to cut out right here but it'll fit just fine right there although <laughs> there there is one problem though I don't know if you can see it but there's a drain pipe right there let me see if I can grab a light there's oh man yeah right there see that guy drain pipe oh me and dad are gonna have to move that to get the uh, fireplace in because it needs eight inches because it's eight inches wide so I think we decided we're going to try moving it over there so that's gonna be fun but I think it'll be worth it it'll be really cute having my own little fireplace yeah yeah fun stuff so I cleaned it ta-ta I wrote my name in it and I was like, this is so cool. Maybe I should like preserve this and put lacquer over it and be like, restoration slash uh, historic dust. Whoa! But I decided, you know, I'm just going to clean it. I didn't really think about that historic stuff. That was just, I just made that up on the spot. But yeah, so it's all beautiful and it's all clean. <sighs> and it's kind of cool because you can compare both the floors here. This right here is like... It's just, just barely you can tell, like, it's slightly lighter than it is over here, because I guess the sun's, the sun kind of shone on this one, I don't know, I mean, through the window or whatever. But, like, this is slightly darker, which is kind of interesting. Yeah! So, I just gotta buy my fireplace. 
Okay, so I have my fireplace. Wow, it's really cool. There's lots of cool functions and stuff. Look at that. So there's like, there's you have a dim button. You can dim it all the way down. And then you can, so you can just have like, you don't have to have the heat on while you have the, the, um, the lights on. So you can just have it like that without the heat on. So that's really cool. And I also have the heat. Let's see, heat right there. Although I think I'm gonna turn that off because it's already hot. I don't need it to be any hotter. And then um, also, there's also a timing function so that I can time it for how long I want the heater to be on. And also, there's a thermostat function too. So that's why I picked this uh, model. Um, yeah, so I'm really really happy with it. I got the. Uh, um, it was a return. So I got it cheaper on Amazon. It was a return model. And uh, there was something wrong with it, but me and Dad got it fixed. So we're like, yeah, $20 off. So, yeah. Um, it's going to fit the hole. We just have to jigsaw some of this out right here. And actually, we are looking at maybe not having to move that silly pipe. And just, like, jigsaw out right here. Because, I mean, it's, like, half an inch. Like, I think we can, like, go get by with that, which would be really nice if we can pull that off. Yeah. Okay, so, big thing that's happening this month, or the next six, five weekends, essentially before June 30th, the weekend of June 30th, because that's when uh, my family has our 4th of July party, and I want to show Timber off. So, I have set a deadline. I'm going to have not everything done, but pretty much, like, everything interior-wise done that people can look at and ooh and ah at. So, um, yeah, I want to have this baby in, I want to have the arches up, air conditioner up, um, backsplash up, um, all the cabinet doors and all the, uh, everything, all that in, uh, all the painting done, um, clear coat done, um, I think there's, like, one more thing, uh, I would like to see if I can get all, like, my wall hangings and stuff and the bathroom storage, I want to have all that up, and, um, yeah, I think that's about all that I have on my to-do list to have done before June 30th. <sighs> oh, uh, sealing the outside, because I want to have timber outside. So I'm going to, uh, ceiling's not going to be that hard. I just got I just got to take a few hours and just do it. So sealing the roof um, and sealing around the windows and all that on the exterior. So that's like all I have to do on the exterior. So I think that's everything that I have to get done, but... It's a lot. And so I've already told several of my friends that I can't come see them until in July because I am, I'm going to have it done. Hopefully. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I think in two weeks we're going to have the arches up. So that's going to be good. I got them, like I finished sanding them and stuff and we're getting them painted and all that good stuff. And I've been watching YouTube videos on how to put the air conditioner in. And I have a friend that I've been talking to about, you know, RV help. He's actually doing his own RV model, so that's really cool, too. So, yeah. These next five weeks are going to be... Timber's on the front burner now. 